with all that chopping? Hmm. Oh, good morning, Wanderer. Yes, yes, I did sleep well. So you're the sound of the chopping. <laughs> no, no, no. You didn't wake me. I already had a full night's rest. When did you wake? Before the sun rose up? Oh, was the beds upstairs not comfortable enough? I could see if... I see. You couldn't sleep. You decided to chop wood. Ah, I understand. Oh, you're chopping down logs for the fireplace in the tavern? Ah, you're too kind, really. Now we really have enough wood for a while now. Really, I mean it. Thank you. I'll pay you back. What? You don't want coin? Well, <laughs> how do I pay you back? With my time? <laughs> You're a strange wanderer, but in a good way. <laughs> okay, I'll help you bring the wood inside. Then we'll talk more about spending time together. Good, let's go. All right, the wood is in the tavern. Sam, can you grab Fred and bring the wood to the fireplace, please? Thank you. I'm a good boss. <laughs> well, you can maintain order and still be respectful. They deserve the same level of respect I do. I don't believe in mistreatment. <laughs> Thank you. But yes, what did you have in mind? Any place I want? Hmm. Well, I do have a special spot. Yes, it means a lot to me. So yeah, let's go. Well, what do you think? It's beautiful? <laughs> yeah, I agree. Why this place? This dock was my first steps in this village. Oh my gosh, you should have seen the look on everyone's faces. Who's that fake? Are they lost? Are they seeking shelter? Mm-hmm, yep. All the dirty looks you can imagine. But what brought me here? This settlement of Boronva was a viable place for me to go. I didn't have much to turn back for. <sighs> well, it's another long story. You don't mind the wait. <laughs> well, since you asked, and I don't mind the company either. So, I am the second youngest of seven Fae children. My mother and father took care of me and my siblings. My dad taught me all about adventure and cared for helping me stand on my feet. My mother taught me about equality and having respect for yourself and for others. Yeah, I got my confidence from them both. Thank you very much. <laughs> Why did I leave if things were okay? <sighs> There was so much a fay was allowed to do in those parts. Either you were a servant or trained, and I say trained loosely, under the wing of abusive human bosses. My mother was treated fairly and stayed out of the way of human dealings. She was the reason I know how to distinguish ingredients and knit, <laughs> which made me useful as a kitchen aide. My initial apprenticeship. My father... <laughs> bared his chest and lifted his neck high when it came to humans and he did suffer because of it i remember him coming home and my mother cleaning his eye since he got into a fight on his way to work he was a farmer or a farmer's aide he hated the job but it meant adding his coin to my mother's coin for us to live my parents did the best they could and i love them dearly yeah Despite his growing reputation as the fay with the wide mouth, he pushed me to be a leader and not a follower to any person and be my own goal. 
my goal was to one day be my own boss and have an establishment that any person can walk into and not be judged. Ah, I, I guess I did accomplish that. How are my parents? Well, they're good. I send them letters monthly about the place and how things are going. Where do they live? Oh, they live in the north or in Fala. My siblings? Oh, well, yeah. I don't really talk to them anymore. Why? Well, they have a lot of resentment since I was the first to travel. I understand why they feel that way, but mother and father only had enough to send one kid out there. Yes, I send coin their way and do my part to make sure they've stayed afloat financially. So, yeah, that's the story of me. Hmm? There's more about you than being a logger? <laughs> Come on now, I listened to as much as you wanted to share at the time, but I didn't want to push. Oh my, you were a fighter. What did you fight for? It's okay if you don't want to talk about it. You want to? Well, okay. When you were a child, there was a raid in your village? You survived and a few others, but the rest... Oh my goodness. Oh, Wanderer, I'm so sorry about that. But how did you survive? A man who happened to train others to fight took a chance on you. Hmm. He was a chevalier? A former chevalier? Wow. The only time I heard of a chevalier, I read it in one of my papa's books. You must have really impressed him. Hmm. You fought in a small faction, built to safeguard smaller strongholds and villages. Wow. I was not expecting that. But you're not with your fellows anymore. Hmm. You got tired of the bloodshed and ringing of swords clashing. I understand. It can be a lot to stay in action all the time. So you moved on and dedicated your life to travel and finding meaning in your life. Well, I'm proud of you. Yes, I am. You decide to choose your own path despite handed a chance of opportunity that developed you but it didn't make you who you are. Now that's courage. Well, we learned a lot about each other today. Yeah, it was good. Wanderer, I... Yeah, I don't want to mess up the mood, but I have to ask. Are you... Are you interested in me? Mm. 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 Whoa. <laughs> okay. I was not expecting all this to happen in one day, but now that everything's out in the open, I'm game. <laughs> I'm trying to say I like you, but I'm really, really nervous. <laughs> this hasn't happened before. Um, so, oh my gosh, look at the time. We have to be on our way. Yep. Well, thank you for today. <laughs>